Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Cell, and I'm happy to come your way once again. It's been a while. I've been very busy creating new templates and performing customization service to a lot of users. So finally, I'm back with this tutorial. Today, we're going to look at the road transport safety reporting tool. So for those of you who are familiar with a lot of our templates, particularly the HSD performance monitoring tool, this tool is similar to the HS performance monitoring tool. The only difference is that this is focusing on road transport KPIs, all right, road transport safety KPIs. So um, as you know, with the HS performance monitoring tool, we have a table of content, we have a set of instructions, we have fleet KPI definitions, we have fleet database and trackers, we have objectives and target sheets, we have target source data, we have an actual source data where you build your database of, you know, the KPIs, and then again, we have a road transport safety report. This is more like a daily report that is sent out. We have a trend dashboard, a target dashboard, Mondays and hours, kilometers and miles traveled, lagging indicators. We have, you know, data on motor vehicle crashes. We have leading indicators. And we have road transport violations, vehicle inspections, plant journey, road survey, pre journey safety briefing, driver fitness for duty tests, medical examination of drivers, you know, driver training and assessment, driver training status, driver, sorry, drug and alcohol tests, vehicle safety audits, internal audits, safety meetings, disciplinary actions, safety award, monthly kilometers traveled, vehicle emission, fuel utilization, maintenance cost per kilometer. In fact, we have a whole lot of KPIs that are very specific to fleet and then safety. Now, I'll give you a bit of, you know, background about why this template, how this template came about. Somewhere in 2019, I was approached by one of my, my my colleagues, actually, who is a transport manager, got in touch and was like, Sale, can you create a template using this fleet KPIs? All right. So I looked at these, these KPIs. These are this is actually a performance metric based on a number of KPIs, like kilometers traveled, for utilization, maintenance cost per kilometer, uh, for cost per kilometer, driver vehicle ratio fleets in fact there are a whole lot of them i think i skipped some of them running cost per kilometer fleet availability fleet downtime fleet utilization so these kpis are more focused on operations so they want to ensure effective optimization of the fleet so as i was putting together a template based on these you know fleet kpis i thought it wise to introduce the safety aspect of it and regarding the safety aspect of the template i utilize the iogp guidance note on land transportation safety all right so the land transportation transportation safety that is what you have here by the international association of oil and gas producers and we look at the land transportation safety recommended best practices so i took time to decipher you know the relevant kpis that you need to actually track if you want to ensure effective you know road transport management so um i actually if i have to take a deep dive into some of these kpis you're looking at road hazard assessment you are looking at um this very one journey management you are looking at driver fitness for duty test you are looking at uh, moto some common kpis for motor vehicle crashes you are also looking at um, land transportation like things about some of the checklists you use when you are carrying out an audit on a vehicle so vehicle safety audits all right and then again um, this one has to do with variations for off-road operations there are some that have to do with driver training recommended approach and profile so based on these you know documents I decide to um, come up with relevant KPIs that will help to ensure effective road transport management. In addition to, you know, those KPIs that are related to operations. So for those of you who are managing fleet of vehicles, 
and you want to show effective you want to ensure effective use of those of this fleet together with how you can effectively manage drivers and ensure that safety is a priority then this template is for you all right so the kpi definitions are all here and we have the various calculations that you're going to use to achieve you know to estimate these kpis and then again over here we have the fleet database and tracker so over here you have maintenance tracker you're able to track maintenance of the vehicle based on the engine run hours all right so or the kilometers travel so you have a the last maintenance the last the cumulative kilometers that will be um extracted from the source data the actual source data is going to be providing you with, with the summary or the the total kilometers traveled over here and then you can set the next kilometers for next maintenance all right and then again you can provide the last maintenance date and the next maintenance date or where is the next maintenance date sorry so the last maintenance date will be here and the next maintenance date will be here and the days due till next maintenance will be calculated automatically for you and over here you're going to have you know the status of maintenance in terms of whether maintenance is overdue maintenance is due soon or maintenance is actually due or maintenance is in date all right so it, it, assuming that maintenance date is perhaps next year 2023 that's why you're going to have maintenance is in date again over here we have vehicle license tracker driver, driver vehicle license tracker so you're going to be tracking the license of of your drivers and then again insurance certificates of the vehicle and a vehicle road worthy certificate so this is just the tracker that you can use to track your vehicles all right and then again we have the objectives and targets as i did mention we looked out for all the relevant kpis that are related to road transport safety management so we are looking at improving driver uh, improved driver recruitment and selection so medical examination is important driver fitness for duty test driver's competence verification these kpis or these set of activities are going to help you to achieve this objective and then we have the target and then the actual the target is coming from the target source data and then the actual is coming from the actual source data so it means that on this sheet you don't do anything this sheet is protected you have no business editing anything here the template has already been pre-designed all right so you focus on setting some target for yourself you know over here and then you build your database on a continuous base basis as uh, per these kpis which we'll be looking at in a bit all right so you have improved driver assessment and training in that regard we're looking at driver induction defensive driving acquiring substance abuse training fatigue management training fire safety training these training programs are very important to improve driver you know to ensure that driver assessment and training has been carried out now you need to maintain vehicle safety that is done through vehicle pre-start inspection that the driver will be carrying out and the fact that once they carry out an inspection they should be able to report on safe conditions and get them corrected all right now enforce good safety good journey management so you need to do plan journeys where you need to make sure that journey every journey that you're embarking a fleet or any track is embarking on has been properly planned again for some type of journey you need to do road survey so road survey is in here as one of the kpis and pre-journey safety briefing very important improve driver engagement safety meeting you know continually improve the road transport the road safety management system so you do your vehicle safety audit and again you do an internal audit so vehicle safety is specific to the vehicle internal audit is looking at the entire management system you know some of the you have an audit criteria that you're going to be using which we have a template for and improve emergency response so there has to be some emergency drills that you carry out reduce road traffic violation so over speeding distracted driving wrongful overtaking seat belt not one you have a system for tracking these you'll be counting them in the source data so these are the kpis these are the proactive kpis the reactive kpis and we have the kpis over here this is the actual source data all right so every single day as you would mobilize the track you need to you know account for the activity of the track regarding all these kpis every single time track track driver moves the vehicle you want to account for the man day that has been worked the working hours per day the man hours worked um, and the fact that you want to look out for lost time injuries so that you can deduct you know the man hours lost from lti from the you know the man hours worked actually for the day and all and again 
you have this KPI. So as I did mention from the IOGP guidance notes, all right, you have the motor vehicle crashes. So there's catastrophic, major, serious, light, and this relates to motor vehicle crashes, which you'll be looking out for. Again, you are looking at the most generic lagging indicators, environmental spill, first aid cases, medical treatment, lost time, injury, straight away case, and fatal accident. Again, we have some on property damage and near misses. So we are covering the general you know, lagging indicators, but again, we have been very specific because this road transport safety management or safety reporting too. So you need to also account for the types of crashes as per the IOGP guidance note 5. Again, we've taken our time to provide all these KPIs and these sort of objectives or the sort of we can take it as a metric and the relevant KPIs that can help you to achieve this metric. All right. So you have medical examination, driver fitness for duty, competence verification, and it's all helping to achieve driver recruitment and selection or it's all related to this category. Again, we have driver training and awareness. Or training and assessment you carry out all these training programs for the drivers so whenever the driver has done the training you, you indicate by one if the trainer has been done you indicate by one and all and then again we have things that do with vehicle pre-starts inspection on safe condition reported on safe condition corrected and drug and alcohol tests must be performed on the drivers you know at regular intervals you have journey management as well plan journey road survey pre-journey safety briefing all must be carried out for the drivers as they move the truck, perhaps on a daily basis or as and when they are moving the truck. Again, vehicle safety audits, you have safety meeting right here. We have emergency road traffic violations. So we have over speeding, distracted driving, wrongful overtaking, and all of that. So guys, those of you who are safety professionals, who want to influence, you know, ensure that safety is integrated in your road transport, it's not always about operations. It's also about making sure that you're able to reduce road traffic crashes. So in, by so doing, you want to make sure that you implement an effective road transport safety management system. So this template will help you to achieve that. We did not lose sight of the operational KPIs, like the fleet KPIs that I earlier shared. So we have all the calculations being done for you to be able to estimate um, for instance, CO2 emission, you'll be able to estimate distance traveled in miles, you'll be able to estimate um, cost of four cost per liter, four utilization, four cost per kilometer, running cost per kilometer, maintenance cost per kilometer, fleet department cost. Now mind that these KPIs are all coming from the fleet definition here. So we've taken our time to look at the various, you know, variables that will help you to calculate these KPIs. So that, with that said, I'll quickly move on to the most, the next important thing, which is the target. The target is where you set your target. The target source data, with is just the mirror image of the actual source data, all right? And we've taken our time to, you know, just represent them according to the various categories you're looking at and the relevant KPIs that will help you to achieve, you know, what you're looking at or the goal for each, each of the category. So you do that. And after building your database, all you need to do is just refresh all, always you refresh all, and the templates will update automatically. So road transport safety reporting tool will update automatically. All you need to do is just use, um, okay, so this section is not active. So what we need to do, just for, you, for your info guys, we've provided a password over here. That's the password, Shexel RT, SRT. So anything that you think is quite difficult to manage, like ideally you're supposed to be able to apply the filter like this. But as you can see over here, you're not able to apply the filter. So we need to make sure that we disable it so that it can be able to um, actually be utilized. Okay, so if I'm protecting the sheets back, I want to make sure that I'm able to edit objects and perhaps scenario. All right, if I do that, I'll be able to now you know, make the changes, but mind that the sheet is protected, only that I didn't enter the password. So now all you need to do to be able to view a report is simply use a slicer for each of the months you want to report on, and you have this, this already um, pre-built for you to send us the reports. But most importantly, we have this trend dashboard here, and you are able to visualize each of the KPIs, you know, using this drop-down list. You're also able to visualize um, 
you know, the performance of each vehicle, you know, by just selecting the vehicle number here. Okay. So you can tell how many, if you want to introduce some numbers there, you can do that. It's very simple. The label, the label is here. All right. So I think the label, we did not mark the, the label. So we just have to introduce, you know, the mark for the label. And that's right there. So whenever you have this template, we provide you with a password so you are able to make the changes you want. Okay, so you can actually, you know, view your reports according to the vehicles. Again, we have the targets KPIs, the target, you know, dashboard. So over here as well, you can visualize how you're progressing towards targets. Okay, and mind that that is actually what we have here. The, we, this section actually focused on the proactive KPIs and according to the various categories as you can see driver recruitment and selection vehicle safety maintenance journey management emergency response drivers assessment and training driver engagement driver safety behavior how you monitor them you know continual improvements and that is exactly what we have here you know so the various categories or the various objectives the KPIs for achieving those objectives the targets and the actual so whatever targets you set on the target sheet is what gets you know populated here and then again, whatever you provide in the actual, as you build your database, is what gets, you know, pro, uh, transferred here. And then again, this very sheet helps us to, you know, visualize the progress towards targets in the various percentage completion for all of them, basically. So we have these other reports, man days and man hours, kilometers traveled or miles traveled. You have lagging indicators. So these are individual reports that we generated from this from the source data the actual source data just for you guys to appreciate you know the various types of reports that you can do if you're looking at road transport safety management you know you have a lot of report that you can actually generate if you're using this template all right so it helps you to effectively manage your drivers it helps you to track the the, the the key important parameters like the drivers license you know vehicle maintenance you also have you're able to track um vehicle insurance you're also able to track the road wedding where the certificates all right so a lot of good stuff for this tool is similar to the the hs performance monitoring tool only that we focused more on fleet kpis from Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport, and again, um, some relevant KPIs, road transport safety management KPIs from the International Association of Oil and Gas Producers, guidance notes on, you know, land transportation. So guys, this, um, this is a very great template. If you're interested in this template, you know, you simply get in touch and I can do another demo of it. And if you want to customize as well, I'm always ready to, to support. You want to keep it very simple to get rid of those that are related to, you know, these fleet KPIs. I can always do that. All right. So nice for, for having me and then talk again soon.